Well, school textbooks may someday be as antiquated as the old blue ink mimeograph machines. Thanks to new computer tablets, class curriculum is becoming much more interactive. Our Lisa Hines continues our look at how technology is changing the rural classroom by taking us to Green Country Technology Center in Oak All right, here we go. Make sure you count them out, okay? All right, let's go. Here we go. Count. It's a tune you may recognize. Stay in the light. Stay in the light. It's the main part of it, guys, is the compression. One that's teaching health students at Green Country Tech Center about the body. Two breaths. And for Taylor Rochelle, a familiar tune really works. Especially when they have a really catchy tone to the song or the video. It's a lot easier to, to remember when you're actually seeing it and hearing it. Tiffany Neal is the health instructor at Green Country and uses iPads to teach her class. And the Apple with the apps, um, they have just thousands of medical apps available for free for our students, which gives a, a lot of information for that. And Tiffany says using iPads in the classroom is the way of the future. 2014 hospitals are requiring our students or any nurse, any medical profession to use computers in the hospital setting. So we're just preparing our students for the industry and what they're going to require. Including 3D capability. For instance, our 3D brain. They can hold a brain in their hand. They can manipulate that brain in any which fashion they'd like. And it gives them information as they do that. While it may seem costly at first, when you consider the cost of replacing outdated textbooks, we might be just a little bit higher with an iPad compared to textbooks, but I think the resources are much more. And saves trees. Now, according to student Alden Chowens, the iPads are very convenient. We learn a lot of skills. We can actually do any assignments on them. They're uh, hooked up to the Internet, so our teacher can put all our work on there. And uh, if there's ever a day that we miss, we can just get on the internet, find out our assignment, and we're not behind when we come back. There is not a place in um, our classroom that we cannot use the iPad. And it's not just the classroom, the clinical skills lab. We're using it in, you know, in the industry when we're out doing our clinicals. We're in a hospital room. And we can open our iPad. We can you know, show patients. We're teaching patients with it. We're teaching our students with it. A new approach to teaching with a world of possibilities. Now the success of using iPads has spurred Green Country Superintendent Danny Spurlock to start buying iPads for the entire school. I thought they could replace the computers and they're going to be a money saver because all the books are going to be on the iPads now. We're not going to have to buy books. We're going to be saving anywhere from 25% to 10% on books that will be downloaded on there instead of them carrying around big books all the time. Everything will be on their iPads. And with the addition of iPads into their curriculum, the superintendent discovered a surprising benefit. iPad classes are filling up. One of the important things that we hadn't thought about is the popularity of the programs now that students know they're going to have iPads instead of books. Uh, you know, they're young kids and that technology is their thing and so they're really enthused about it. 